Hello guys, what's up? Today I make a quick tip tutorial for you. It's about wallpaper, about uh, something like this, this uh, smooch, uh, little psychedelic, maybe abstract wallpaper. It looks pretty interesting for me, so hope you guys enjoyed. For this we need a random image, something like a nature image. It works perfect. And of course we need to create new project. I call it smooth wallpaper. I set width at uh, 1920 and height at 1080, resolution 72. Okay. And what we need to do, click move tool and drag this image to our project adjust this now go to filter blur and click radial blur set amount at 100 blur method zoom and quality best Now we get something like this, but I want to add something else. So again, go to filter and go to filter gallery. And here we have a few type of filters. For this image, uh, I think you can use, for example, glass in this third and few others in your uh, filters. You can find something interesting in artistic, for example, watercolor or other, as I said, glass, but... But I use Chrome, it also looks nice, but as I said, you can use whatever you want, you can uh, try with a few types of filters. And now it looks too perfect, so we need to add some smooch, for this you can use smooch tool. But I think the better method is filter and liquify. Now using of course a forward warp tool, add some smooch to your image, something like this. Okay, it's enough. Well, looks not bad. And the last step is gradient. Click this small icon and go to gradient. Select your gradient, whatever you want. I try with this type. Uh, select your style. Also, whatever you want, angle and other things, and change blend mode to overlay. But I want to add another gradient, so duplicate this layer, edit your gradient. Now I select this, for example, and it looks something like this. I think it's pretty interesting. Of course, you can change blend mode to soft light if it's uh, too strong for you. Or you can change opacity, for example, to 70%. Uh, it looks quite interesting, I think. And sometimes the easiest thing are the best. I think here you have an example. Well, what can I say? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you create something really interesting using this method and see you in the next photoshop tutorial